Okay, so what we're gonna do is a celebrity reading on Jenny from Blackpink. Um, we'll see what's going on with her. Is she leaving the group? Is there trouble? Let's find out. Oh. When you get a son <laughs> as the first pull. So, look, okay? I'm gonna be very blunt. The sun is upright, which is about happiness, but it's also a yes. And so when I pull the sun here, she's the star, okay? But the problem with this is that this has been in her ear. So the four of pentacles is like selfish greediness. And then we see the king of cups, someone who's invested in her, has to be someone she were like someone at the, the label, whatever. And the ace of cups, which is about love. So what this means is that someone is in her ear whispering to her, you're the star, you're better than everyone else. You're, you're, the, you're the one that carries everyone. You do all the work, you're amazing, you're great, you're fantastic. These other girls, you're carrying them. The king of wands is upright, okay? Which means that this person is, there's, there's someone, I don't know if it's the same person, but there's someone else who's definitely a focus for her. The hangman is about sacrifice and the king of swords is upright. So if I pull the king of swords um, here, which is like selfish tendencies or like fuck boy, and I pull the king of wands, which is like uh, aggression or someone going after them, and the hangman, which is about sacrifices, tells me that she hasn't been doing everything she should be doing one because she's the star and two because there's a man i don't know who this is but there's a man there's definitely a man that she's talking to uh or that is after her that she's like you know somewhat romantic with uh that has been taking up her time my nine of wands is that they're as a group they're gonna hit a giant shit storm um the ten of wands about burdens the ten of pentacles about long-term success Oh, you guys, I'm not going to lie. There's potential for her to leave. So this would be the Knight of Wands, which would be her passion and her aggression growing. This is a heartbreak, Three of Swords. And then this is drama, dramatic catastrophic event. Definitely seems to be a scandal coming for her. Um, this is the ending of a cycle. This would be about other people. And this would be about the return of an old idea. Yeah, commitment. And then we see fighting. So the girls are fighting right now. They do not get along. The Knight of Swords, impurity. Okay. There's the fighting even more. Laziness. Okay, so the laziness is the catalyst for the fighting. The Knight of Swords is all the stress and overthinking. This would be leaving a group. Ten of Cups. And it's an emperor's fault. It's the CEO's fault or whoever is in charge. Yep, there is the ego that she's gotten. She's an empress, which means that she's really close to this guy. There's the detachment. There's the inconsistency. I see her leaving. Yeah, I told you, she's the star. She's the star, you guys. The CEO has gassed up her head. She's the star. And she's like, I could do whatever the hell I want. I pull these girls' weight. The other girls are fighting with her because she's being lazy. She's chasing some guy. I don't know if it's the same guy, you know, over here. I don't know because I'm not quite certain which, you know, who she's talking to or anything like that. But um, uh, I see her. I definitely see her wanting to leave, but they may even force her out. I'm a little bit concerned, though, because she's so favorited. Look, the Queen of Wands up, right? They want to make her the next Yana. So she's so favorited, these other girls might be out of it a complete job. They want her to express herself on her own. I'll tell you this, I wouldn't put my bets against any of the other, I wouldn't put my bets against her. I definitely wouldn't put my bets against her. In fact, I'm gonna pull a Oracle card here. No, uh, she would not have the same success if she tried to go solo initially. Like I said before, they were modeled after 21, and that's a fact. 
All the Blackpink fans can be mad about that. It's the fact, bitch. I've been a K-pop stan for years. Daddy Saturn! Daddy Saturn. Okay, so Saturn is like a huge hard lesson or someone majorly in charge. The Libra card is about balancing things, but I even pulled the Venus card, which is about love. And here's the duality, the Gemini card. I have a question for you guys. So do you know anything about her love life? Because the air card is here. She's talking to someone. I know they're not allowed to date, but are there any rumors? Because I'm a little bit like... Okay, so like when it comes to K-pop, like I know a lot of them are like chosen by like the CEOs to like do certain things. I mean... Let's just say that there are powerful people that are <clears throat> enamored by her. And um, let's just say that when she leaves, she will be successful. And we'll leave it at that. 